Making manual updates to card prices is no problem when your inventory is small, but as your business grows, you'll want to keep things easy on yourself by using tools that can stay on top of it all. The pricing tab in the TCG Player Seller Portal lets you make individual adjustments online, or you can download a CSV and tackle a ton of products at once, and that's what we're going to cover in this video. Start by navigating to your pricing tab and hitting the Export Filtered CSV button. Then select the category, set, condition, language, printings, or price value from the available fields. A CSV file uses comma-separated values and it's a universal file format, which means you'll be able to open this file with almost any spreadsheet software, including Excel or even Google Sheets. The advantage of managing your inventory through a CSV file is that you can make changes to a lot of products all at once, then have TCG Player process them all together instead of one at a time within the seller portal. So, you'll open the CSV file, make some edits, save those changes, and then return to the seller portal to upload your completed work. Let's go over how to do exactly that. Open up your downloaded file and take a look at this top row. These headers will tell you what type of information will be in each column, and it is important that you do not change or rearrange them. If you edit the headers, you won't be able to upload your file back to TCG Player when you're done, so make sure you don't change their position or contents. The column headers include TCG Player ID, product line, set name, product name, title, number, rarity, condition, market price, direct low, low price, pending quantity, total quantity, add to quantity, marketplace price, my store reserve quantity, my store price, and photo URL. Let's take a quick look at each. The TCG player ID is the identification number that represents a specific card in a specific condition, much like how a barcode identifies bananas at a supermarket. Do not edit this field or TCG Player won't be able to match your cards up correctly with our own product catalog. Product line will display Magic, Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, or whichever game the card is a part of, while set name reveals the name of the set that card is from within that game. Product name and title give the name and title of the card, and number, rarity, and condition provide the rest of the collector's information, as you would expect. Market price shows the current value of a card as decided by the last several completed sales. For more on market price information, be sure to check out our related help files. Direct Low displays the current lowest price that a card is actively listed for among stores within TCG Player Direct. Low Price, meanwhile, gives you the current lowest price that a card is listed for among all the stores in our marketplace. If you have cards in your inventory that have been ordered, but those orders were not yet marked as shipped at the time you downloaded your CSV file, those cards will appear as pending. Total quantity shows the total number of cards you have in stock, and that brings us to the first column you're actually going to want to update. Add to quantity. This is where you can add and subtract cards from your inventory. Putting a 5 here, for example, will add 5 more copies of a card to your total inventory, while minus 5 will remove 5 copies. Note that TCG Player will only reduce your quantity to 0, so if you have 3 in stock and enter minus 5, you won't go to negative 2. Next to that, you'll find the Marketplace Price, where you set the price for your products on the TCG Player Marketplace. Be extra careful when editing this field, as typos can be costly mistakes. To keep a portion of your inventory available only in your physical store and pro website, you'll want to use the My Store Reserve Quantity. For example, if you have five copies of a card in total inventory and set the reserve to four, then only one card will actually appear on the Marketplace. My store price lets you set a different price for the products listed on your TCG Player Pro website and in-store kiosk. Using a combination of My Store Price and My Store Reserve Quantity, you can make sure your local customers are well taken care of and given incentive to visit your location for the best deals, while still having a presence on the marketplace and reaching customers all over the world. Lastly, the photo URL column will display the link to any listings with photos that you added through the seller portal. The best part about having all of this information contained in a CSV file is that you can make sweeping edits using formulas. Want to quickly set all your prices to a fixed percentage of the current market price? You can do that with a single formula. Our Pro Seller Facebook group is an excellent resource, where store owners love to share their favorite tips and tricks for making edits to CSV files. Whether you enter one field at a time or use formulas all over your file, make sure you save it all when you're done. Then come back to the Seller Portal and use the Import to Stage button to start uploading your file. This gives you a chance to review everything one more time before moving into your live inventory, but you can also skip this step if you want. And that's it! With a few simple steps, you can use CSV files to quickly update the price, quantity, and reserve amounts of your entire inventory. If you have any questions about these features or would like to learn more about TCG Player Pro, just reach out to Pro Support at tcgplayer.com.